access allowances exceeding salaries and the absence of balance sheet in the financial statement. The National Audit Team, member of the Park and Pay Committee and subject matter specialists recommended these shortfalls be fixed or may take their toll on the institution's viability. I would like to encourage the management to use the standard format of the presentation of accounts for their future presentations to provide um, this August joint um, committee with more information to compare the year on the review with previous years. However, the audit noted that the representative from the private sector is yet to be appointed. The appointment of a representative from the private sector is not to merely complete the board membership, but could add value to decision making during board meetings. Priority, we rank it low. Impact, the dictates of the act has been violated. The board may lose vital contribution, information or information during its decision making towards good governance for the agency. Despite the adoption of the document by lawmakers, subject matter specialist TSNI recommends for the purpose of Park and Peck that any year's subsequent annual activity reports should showcase impact assessment. The assessment, Mr. Njai went on, will serve as a yardstick to help any officials ascertain reasons behind their progress, such as the decline in drug seizure in the country during the year on the review and damage to economy caused by drug-related crimes. Louis Mendy, GRTS. In his bid to better acquaint himself with conditions at the country's health facilities, the Minister of Health and Social Welfare and National Assembly Matters, Balagaba Jahumpa, accompanied by top health ministry officials, taught health centers and related facilities in the Upper River region. Our Babakar Kamara went along and this is his report. He continued his tour to 12 health facilities within Basi region, significantly substantiated by their distance and much desired road network. He began at Gambisara and was accorded with the usual welcome before proceeding to Numuel and Demba Kunda, where his rousing welcome was punctuated with a spectacular fanfare, for his actions have traveled far and wide, overshadowing his looks. He entered Basel late into the night with a formidable steam, visiting facilities of the hospital, when visiting rules were said to be flouted but necessary for the manually entrusted with their welfare and responsibility. This goes without unnoticed notice as he returns gratitude to President Jame for an additional cabinet portfolio conferred on him whilst making his tireless visits at the hinterland. On behalf of the Gambian people, to extend our thanks and appreciation to His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Sheikh Professor Dr. al Haji Yahya Abdul Aziz Jemus Junkung Jame, for the additional portfolio being responsible for National Assembly Affairs. Your Excellency, on behalf of the Gambian people, and in collaboration and solidarity with the honorable members of the National Assembly, we will deliver legislatively and we will represent the Gambian people. It was the same scenario as he continued day two within Basel region, touching board Willis, going far east and wide west before retiring late into the night visiting Koina and Fatoto. He has earlier visited SOS Children's Village in Basse, where 110 vulnerable children are accommodated in 12 family settings. His talk continues in the lower river region. Babakar Kamara, GRTS. Mothers of the first baby girl and boy delivered at the Sarakunda General Hospital have received gifts and cash donations from the family of the late Al Haji Keba Conte. Father Jassi picks up the rest of that story. This family is not only contributing its quota to national development, but also helping to save the lives of women and children by assisting the maternal ward of the Sarakunda Hospital. The move, which was initiated by the late Al Haji Keba Conte, is meant to help in the reduction of maternal mortality in the country. 
As is tradition, since adopting the word to present gifts for the first New Year babies born in the hospital, the Kanta family has once again manifested this move by presenting $5,000 to each of the babies of the hospital with several other items. Russell Koka, maternal ward Methron, said that this is not the first time they are receiving such valuable gifts from the Kanta family and also outlined that the move is to reduce maternal mortality rates. This is not the first time for the Conte family to bring such valuable uh, items to the world. They've been doing it, and I know by the grace of God they will continue doing uh, <coughs> more than this. Alu Dibadji, public relations officer of the hospital, explains the cordial relationship the health facility enjoys with the Conte family. The late Alhaji Keba Contest family, he went on, has been assisting the world with the donation of several equipment amounting to millions of dollars. It is with great pride and humility that we are witnessing the beginning of yet another useful partnership with the Conte family. A partnership that began since 2010 with the Conte family, with the adoption of this very unit that is the maternity ward which I am happy to announce is fully sponsored by the sons, daughter, and family of the late Alhaji Keba Conte. Outlining the importance of such a step, the West Coast Region Health Director, Alhaji Sen, said the Conte family cannot be left behind in the attainment of the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs, and urge others to follow in their footsteps. On behalf of the Ministry of Health and the entire regional health management team, um, we are most grateful to the Conte family. This is a manifestation of your commitment to supporting uh, national development. As we all know, that um, government is doing a lot in combating infant and maternal mortality, reduction of maternal mortal, uh, infant and mortal, um, maternal mortality in this country. We all know government cannot do it alone. And we are blessed in this country, Gambia, where you have free maternal and child health services, free of charge. People are giving care free of charge. You all know what it means when something is free. You have a, a question of sustainability. Government cannot do it alone. And this is why we need people like the Conte family and the philanthropists to come over and complement what government is doing. Speaking on behalf of the family, Aladdin Baicho reflected on the life of the late Alhaji Keba Conte and outlined the good the family enjoys in sharing with the less privileged. Aladdin Keba has been known in this country as a philanthropist by all the aged people, all the aged pies and mummies in Banjul. Naming Aladdin Keba Conte's memorial word here really is just proximity that makes it possible this way. But he's much known in the URD, MID, CRD as Pa Conte. Araji Keva was useful in this country, not only as a medical personnel, but was once a mayor in Banjul. That's the type of citizens that we believe we can always emulate and set ourselves to contribute in the development sphere of Gambia. Momodu Conte, son of late Alhaji Keba Conte, explained that some of the items they have given out stems out of their frequent visits to the hospital. The materials form part of contributions by members of the family. The first baby girl and baby boy were then presented with $5,000 each, a suitcase each, bath pans and other items. The rest of items ranging from air condition, clothes for orderlies, bed sheets, Window curtains, nebulizer, clean detergents, and many items were handed over to Al Haji Keba Conte Maternal Ward. Aja Bajaha, grandmother of the baby girl, and Stella Yausin, and nurse at the ward, both thanked the Conte family for their support to the hospital. The family was later taken on the tour of the ward. For GRTS News, I am Fatu Jassi. Well, we're going to take a very short break now. The news continues in just a moment.
the Nawek Staff Association under the Chief Guest of Honor, His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Chef Professor al Haji Dr. Yaya AJJ Jame, is staging its third annual gala dinner and dance in association with the international superstar Asanjai of Senegal, Jaliba Kuyate and Abu and Fafa. This program is in support of His Excellency's drive to turn the Gambia into a city-state by providing all basic and essential services such as electricity and water to the Gambian populace irrespective of where they live. The gala dinner is slated for the 25th of January 2013 at the Senegambia Beach Hotel. Tables are 